Uh, hey guys, it's Valen Star here. Um, it's been a while since I made a video. And I apologize for that. I mean, I actually had a couple of ideas that I really wanted to put out there for you guys. But I've just been busy recently. I mean, uh, this starting start from last um, last September, I've been in university. And I know I've been, I have uploaded some videos during that time. But I could have uploaded so much more. But because of university, it's been quite busy with schedules. And... It's been difficult for me to find time to try get down with Maple Story and try upload what I wanted to do, but hopefully in future, now that um, it's almost a break now for our semester, that I can upload more videos for you because it's really nice that when I log on to Maple Story now, some of you guys, not many, there's some of you, maybe a couple, uh, recognize me and they do, and you like to say, oh, um, you, I like your videos, I like watching them, please upload more, and it's really. It's really nice when people come up to you and say stuff like that. I mean, I don't have the biggest audience in the world, don't get me wrong, but the little people that do, um, the little few people you, you guys do actually watch my videos, thanks for that, because every little helps, you know, to me personally, and I'm happy with the audience I have, and I'll just keep working with who I've got, and hopefully I'll just see where it takes me, I guess. I mean, that's not the, that's not the whole point of this video, I mean... It was just a, this video is mainly just to inform you about little things, but that isn't what the whole video is about, right? What the main video is about is, is gonna, I'm going to show you guys my character cards and my link skills because some of you guys have actually been quite uh, interested to know um, what character cards I use, what link skills I use. Some of you guys don't actually know what's the benefits of character cards or what what you can do with these character cards. Some of you don't know which ones are the best link skills to use, which ones are the best character cards to use. So, hopefully, I can answer your questions. I know that there are other people on YouTube who have done these guides and probably have done a more in-depth guide to this. But, unlike them, I'm doing it from my own personal point of view rather than a standard like view that is generalized for all kinds of classes. I'm doing this from a point where I've kind of looked at it myself and decided myself what character cards I should use and what link skills I should use. So I hopefully, my view will hopefully give you a better um, view of what you should have for your character cards. Obviously, since I play a warrior, it's going to be much different than, for example, if you played a thief or a mage or a pirate, because obviously different classes need different things. So it might not be that helpful to you, but I don't know. It might give you some idea of what you should look out for and what you should try to aim for anyway. So let's get to it I guess. I mean I'll just show you all my characters first before showing you my character cards. I won't I won't try to talk much about the, each character because I don't want this video to last too long. But I'll just quickly skim through every single character and you can see for yourself I guess. So here's my Dark Knight, he's my main character. He was also previously known as Blue Blur 28. Uh, if you've seen my very, very, very old videos, uh, I, I've said this many times before in other videos, I name changed it for a name change event that Maple Story has. I don't think it's on anymore, so I don't think you're able to do it, but if it ever pops up again, then you'll know how to do it, I guess. So, my Knight of Cygnus, which is for my Empress Link skill. Aaron, this doesn't have any... Unfortunately, one of the funny things is this doesn't have anything to do with character cards or link skills at all. I just made it because I really enjoyed this class. So it's a very, it's a very fun class. I highly recommend Aaron. It's a really, really interesting and unique class that not many other classes can do. So yeah, hero, it's for a character card. Paladin, it, it was a character card. And it's also an ultimate adventurer. If you guys remember what ultimate adventurers are, then great. I'd rather not explain it since there's no point anymore since they don't really exist anymore. Maybe another video I'll show what ultimate adventures are, who knows. Uh, Cannoneer for my link skill, Demon Slayer for his link skill, Kaiser for his link skill, but also I mained it for a short period of time before going back to Dark Knight. So, fun class by the way, I might suggest that. Phantom, Luminous, Demon Avenger, Xenon. Uh, Hayato, Kana, Windbreaker, Striker, Mechanic for the character card, Zero, Mercedes, Shade, I made this for the character card. It does have a link skill, but I prefer the character card over its link skill. 
flame wizard. And Nightwalker. <laughs> These two classes, this is my old character's IGN. I just wanted to save it just because uh, nostalgia reasons really. Uh, this, this is just an inside joke between me and my buddies. Uh, if you know me personally in the game or you know me and my buddy, then you'll understand. If not, then I'll grab not get into it. Um, anyway, that's all my characters. So, I've got quite a bunch of characters in case you've noticed. I have maxed out my character slots. So, that's how that's how I've got so many characters. Because usually you're not usually allowed to make this many. But because I've maxed out my character slots, I can. So, um, anyway, I'll go into character cards now. I'll try to keep it brief on how the character card system works. Uh, and I'll obviously show you what character cards I use, stuff like that. So as you can see, um, all your character cards are listed up top. There's one character card for each character you have. So obviously, I have 23 characters as it says up there. It means I'll have 23 character cards. So, <laughs> character cards have... Uh, each character card represents your character and every character has different attributes. So, as you can see here, it hovers over my Dark Knight. It's 5% HP, Knight of Sickness, my Soul Master is 4% defense, blah 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 blah. Some are more useful than others. I'm going to provide a link in the description below of a list of every single uh, character card of every single job. And so that way you can pick and look at which ones you will find the most useful. But hopefully I can show which ones, in my opinion, are the most useful in this video. But in case there are ones that I don't explain and you might be curious to know, oh, is there one for this, is there one for that? I'll give you a link down below and you can look at it and you can see if there is one that might be suitable for your job, if it's not explained in this video. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so I'll start off that, as you can see, uh, you can scroll through, there's different character cards. Yeah, as you notice, there's letters beside each uh, character card. This represents the rank of the card. Uh, the ranks go from, I think it's B, A, S, and SS. SS is the highest, B is the lowest. Um, these ranks depend on the character's level. As you can see, it shows the levels beside the character and it will correspond to the rank. So, uh, for B rank, if I'm right, your character only has to be level 30 and below. For A rank, it has to be level 60, level 60 and above. For uh, S rank, it's level 100 and above. And for SS rank, it's level 200 and above. SS rank is obviously the best, and obviously the higher the rank, the better stats you get from each card. So, uh, most of mine are all S because they're all level 100 or and above. I think only two of mine are level SS, which would be my Kaiser, which is level 210, and my Dark Knight, which is 219. So, <laughs> yeah. That, that's main gist of it. As you can see, each character has different backgrounds as well. As you see, like, these ones are yellow, this one's blue, this one's green, this one is blue, purple, white, and I think red. Uh, the, the, the color backgrounds are there to represent what type of card it is. So, yellow represents adventurers, so obviously heroes, paladins, dark knights, uh, ca hydra, hydra, uh, cannoneers are classified as uh, yellow. Kaiser's not an adventurer, but it's classified as an adventurer for some reason, I guess, because he didn't want to make one for Nova classes, because there's only two of them. That's probably why, I don't know. They never explained that. But green is obviously to represent Night of Sickness, so Soul Master's green, Windbreaker's green, Striker's green, stuff like that. Red is to represent zero, as zero is its only individual class, so it's just its own. Um, Purple is to represent resistance, so Mechanic, Demon Slayer, Demon Avenger, uh, Xenon, Demon Avenger. Um, and blue is to represent the heroes, so obviously Phantom, Luminous, Evan, Aaron, and uh, Shade, if I'm right, if I miss any, oops. But, yeah, I'll explain to the, I'll explain why um, that's important later, but now we get on to the main thing, is the card decks. You get three card decks, and you can have three cards in each deck. Um, just to put it out there, some people don't know this, but you can't use the same card more than once. So, obviously, I can't use my Dark Knight card into my second deck and my third deck. You can only have one card in the, of, that, of that type in, in that deck. You can also can't stack uh, more, of, more of one of the same kind. So, as you can see, Demon Avenger gives you 3% boss, which is a really nice card. If I decided to make three Demon Avengers, that wouldn't work, as three Demon Avengers wouldn't stack. You can put them in, I think, you can do that, but it won't give you the effect. So, don't try that because I've tried that to be 
So, <coughs> yeah. So the best thing is to try and find the best nine cards. That would be the best for you. So obviously, like I said, you can't use the same the same occurring card. So I've gone for my deck. As you can see, I've got my Dark Knight, my Demon Slayer, which three percent stat resistance, and my Demon Avenger, which three percent bosses. My second deck, I've got Buff Duration for fifteen percent from my mechanic. Uh, strength dex lock increased by 20 with my Xenon and my Shade which gives me 3% minimum crit and 3% maximum crit. In my last card deck I've got my Kaiser which increases 80 strength, my Hayato which gives 6% minimum crit and my, Hi my Hayato which gives 3% damage. So which is obviously, these are the ones I use, it could be different for you but in my opinion these are the 9 decks, 9 cards that are probably the best for me. I mean, obviously, what I could do is to try and get these all to level 200 to get the SS rank to give them to give me a bit more of a boost. So, but anyway, and not only do each card give you status sets, I mean status bonuses. They also you can also get card set bonuses as well. So if you have three of a certain type type of card, it will give you a bonus. So, for example, different kinds of set bonuses could be free warriors, free archers, free bowmen, free thief, so like three of the same type of job basically. You could also do three of the same colour. So you could do free adventurers, free um, resistance, free knight of sickness, free heroes, stuff like that, you know. I haven't got any of that but that's what you can do. I'll also provide a link in the description of what set bonuses give you what because then that way you can look at which ones you think are the best. Also that, you can also get uh, rank bonuses as well, so if you get three S rank cards and above, then that will give you a bonus, you have three SS ranks, it will give you a bonus, three A ranks give you a bonus, blah blah blah. If I'm right, SS rank and S rank both classify as the same thing. So if you have three SS rank, <coughs> it will give you the best bonus, but if you have two S ranks and three SS rank, it will just give you the S rank bonus. So, but, like, for example, the S rank bonus, which would be this bonus here, it's 700 HP, 700 MP, 3 attack, 3% boss for each S rank deck you have. So obviously, I have 3 of these S rank decks. That means I have 3 of these bonuses. So there's 1 there, 2 there, 3 there. So I've got 3 of these. So that means I'm 9% boss in total, basically, which is really a big boost. Um, and like I said, this is this set is a free warrior set. So obviously, I've got. Dark Knight, which is a warrior, Demon Slayer is a warrior, Demon Avenger is a warrior. And the warrior set gives me this set here, which is 8% of max HP, is added as an additional damage. Now you see it says S, which means it's, got, it's the S rank set instead of the SS rank set. It would probably be 10% of max HP if it was SS rank. Um, and this one's the pirate set, as you can see it's mechanics of pirate. Xenon's classified as a pirate instead of a thief, in case you're wondering, it classifies as a pirate. And Shade counts as a pirate, so for that. The pirate's way, it, uh, it gives 6% uh, ignore defense, which is also really nice. Unfortunately, I don't have a set bonus for this apart from the S rank set. It doesn't, there's no specific class thing, so I don't get anything for that. So, yeah, like I said, I'll put a link down below of what sets are best, what sets are good, blah blah blah, so you can tell for yourself. Because if I went through every single one right now, it'd probably bore you to death. But apart from that, that's me described what I think. It's hopefully helpful enough for you guys to know the best thing about card sets. I do really also want to say, you really should try get a good free decks of cards because you might not think about it, but it adds up over time. Each little bit that contributes, every bit of percent boss, every bit of attack, every bit of HP, it adds up, and it's basically free damage for you just for spending a little bit of your time grinding different characters. And some people are kind of lazy. I know I understand that. But if you, if you don't want to spend money in this game, or you don't want to spend as much money in this game, this is a very easy way to get extra damage and extra range without actually having to do much, you know? So, I really do recommend you do these uh, character cards. So, yeah, anyway, now that's done, we'll go over to link skills now. So let me just log on to my character, and I'll show you the link skills that I have, and which ones, in my opinion, are the best ones to use. So I'll be right back, so give me two seconds. Right, I am back, so, I don't know how long this video has been going on for, but hopefully it's not been too long, but if I'm boring you, or if I speak too much, or if I'm just not really being uh, interesting, then please leave so in the comments, because sometimes I, personally, I think I ramble too much, and some people aren't, like, a fan of that, so some people get turned off after maybe five or six minutes of someone just speaking, so... If you, or 
maybe you don't like the way I speak, maybe I'm too quick or I'm unclear, then please tell me that. So the next time I do make a video, com a, vid a voice commentary, I'll try fix that. So, you know, because I want to make sure that everything I try and say in this video is clear enough for everyone to know. And if you still have further questions, please also tell me that in game or in the comments below. That's fine with me, either way. So, anyways, like I said, I'm going to show you the link skills now. The link skills I have, anyway, personally. So, do a link manager. So, in case you don't know, I think you should know by now, but you can only have a maximum of 12 link skills per character. So, if you have more than 12, make sure you pick the best 12 that is good for you. So, these are the 12 I have. So, I'll briefly describe how link skills work. Link skills are skills from other characters, from other jobs. Um, that you get through leveling up your character. And once your character gets to a certain level, you can transfer that link skill over to another character. And they will get the same effect as your character that had the link skill in the first place. So, not all characters have link skills, only a set few do. So, for example, this is the Cannoneer link skill. My, uh, my, this is my IG in there, Hydro Cannon. And it, there's a stat there. It says permanently increases your strength by 25, dex by 25, int by 25, luck by 25, max HP and MP by 10%. As you can see, it says a master level of 3, and mine's only level 2. Uh, the levels are decided on how. The levels of the skill is decided on the level of the character of the link skill. So, um, the, to get level 1, you have to get your character to level 70. To get it to level 2, you have to get it to level 120, and to get its third level, you have to get to level 210. So obviously if you get all your characters to 210, you'll get the maximum benefit from each Link skill. Unfortunately, I haven't, so that's why it's only level 2. Most people usually stop at level 2 because the difference, the, the level gap between level 120 and 210 is so big, and some people just aren't really willing to uh, grind all the way up to 210 just for that. I mean, it's very good if you have a lot of time, don't get me wrong, but it's just, you know, it's just a lot of boring grind that not many, many people want to do and I don't blame them personally because I haven't done it so maybe in future I might do it when I have a lot of time but right now as I said I'm at university I don't think I have time to grind all of these to level 210 unfortunately so yeah <laughs> so th this is the pirate link skill uh, kind of new link skill sorry uh, this is the demon slaying skill this in my opinion is one of the best link skills to have I mean obviously if you don't boss or you have no intention of bossing, then technically it's worthless. But if you do boss, this is obviously a fantastic link skill to have. As you see, Valley Wings gives you a like link skill. It's currently level two, increases damage by 15%, but again when against a, bo a boss monster, and 20% when increases a boss monster level three. So that's a very good link skill. Phantom, uh, Phantom's really good if you if you need critical rate, because critical rate is actually really important for our, a class, unless you're a character that has plenty of critical rate, for example, Bowman's or Archer, they usually have plenty of critical rate, they might not need it. But if you do need critical rate, then it's definitely a, a, skill, a link skill for you. As you see, 15% critical rate, 20% level 3. Luminous, the Luminous link skill gives you uh, enemy defense ignored. This is the same as I said, this is pretty much the same for Demon Slayer. If you don't boss, this isn't really needed for you. But if you do boss, this is also a really important link skill to have. Um, 15% of defense of enemy ignore, 20% of enemy defense ignore level 3. <coughs> this is my only level 3 link skill, as you see, because I just happened to main a Kaiser and I got it to level 210. Uh, but yeah, it's quite nice, 20% HP. It's not exactly the best link skill in the world, since HP isn't that important anymore, but HP is always good to have anyway, so if you need HP, then good link skill to have. Elven Blessing, this is the Mercedes link skill. Um, if you like grinding, or you grind a lot, this is actually a really, really nice thing to have. Permanently receive 15% additional extra XP at level 2, 20% at level 3. Um, it may not seem much, 15%, but it adds up over time, obviously. So if you do a 4 hour grind, for example, 15% XP can be a lot, if you think about it. So I would highly recommend getting this link skill if you grind a lot. And for me, I do grind quite a bit. Well, I only wanted to grind to 220, so I did decide to get this link skill. But maybe when I am 220 and I stop grinding, I'll probably swap it for something else. Xeno Link Skill. This is one of the better Link Skills that you can possibly get. 10% all stats level 2, 15% all stats level 3. Very good Link Skill to have. Good way to get a big boost in your range. Just overall good Link Skill, really. I mean, percent all stats is always good, so yeah. 
This is also a very good link skill. This is the Demon Avenger link skill, in my opinion, one of the best ones. 10% damage at level 2, 15% damage at level 3. Very, very nice. Uh, big, big, big boost to get for your range. So, if you need a bit more damage, this is a very good link skill to have, and I would highly recommend all jobs to have this class at least. So, yeah, Demon Avenger link skill. This is the Zero link skill. <laughs> This link skill should technically be level 5, but because MapleStore Europe have this some bug going on, it's only level 3, it should be level 5. Um, the incoming damage resistance should technically be 15%, and the defense ignored should be 10%. But, until it's fixed, this is what it should be, this is what it is right now, but it should be level 5. I mean, this is a much different link skill to the other ones, as you see these are all maximum of level 3, this one's a maximum of level 5. It's because that zero start at level 100. And to get the zero link skill to level 5, you have to get your zero to level 180, if I'm right. Which you can do by doing the quests, or grinding, or however you decide to do it. So, this link skill, and obviously the Night of Sickness link skill, which I'm going to go into now, is a, the exception to the other format. So, as you see, this is level 10. But, the difference between this one is, as you can see, it shows five names, which are my five Night of Sicknesses. Each Night of Sickness that you get to level 120 will give 5% status resistance to your character and um, they stack so if you have 5 Night of Sicknesses then obviously it stacks on if you transfer them all to the same character which is why, which is why I get 25% status resistance from this link skill. Um, uh, well, you have to make sure though that you, ha you, can't, use the f you can't use 5 of the same uh, Knight of Sickness, so if you have five Soul Masters or three Wind Archers and two Night Walkers, it won't work. You have to have one of each. So you need to have a Soul Master, a Windbreaker, a Night Walker, a Flame Wizard, and a Striker. You can't have w more than one of the same kind. You have to have one of each if you want to get the maximum benefit from that Link Skill. So, I mean, this is a very good Link Skill to have. A lot of people underrate status resistance, but some people don't realize how much of a very helpful bonus it can give you. I mean, maybe not for grinding, but for bossing it's very very good, but even for gr even for some grinding it's still nice to have. So yeah. Higher to link skill. The higher to link skill is bug. It says the master level is level 3, but it should only be level 1, because higher tools never were, never were intended to get more than one level of their link skill. As you can see, the level 2 link skill is the same as the level 1 link skill, which is a bug. It should only be level 1, and it's uh, bonuses, increase all stats by 10, attack and magic attack by 5. So yeah, I never grinded my links, I never grinded my high to level 120 because there was no point, because, like I said, there's no level 2 or level 3 links to go for it, so I stopped at level 114. But, yeah, it was a fun class, but no need to get it past level 70. The last link skill, Elementalism, this is the Kana link skill. It saves the Demon Avenger link skill, increases damage by 10%. Both of these link skills, the Demon Adventure and the Kana, in my opinion, are the best link skills to get. So if you don't have these yet, I would highly recommend getting them because 10% damage is a very nice boost to your range and it's pretty much essential, in my opinion. Just free damage basically, so yeah. I haven't got it to level 3 link skill yet, and maybe eventually I will, but until then, level 2 will do the job. But that's the model guys, that's all 12 link skills I have on my character. There are other link skills available, such as Angelic Buster, um, uh, Mihail, Shade, and I don't remember any others. I think those are the only other three that are in this game. If you play Global Maple Story, you'll have other link skills such as Beast Tamer and Jet, but we don't have those classes because this is Maple Story Europe, so I wouldn't worry about them. If you want to see what the Angelic Buster and the uh, Mihail link skills are. I'll leave a link in the description below of all the link skills as well, in case you want to look back at um, what link skills you might want and which ones you don't want. So I'll just provide a link in the description below of all of that as well. But that's pretty much it for that, link skills. Um, to, to sort of sum it up basically, um, link skills and character cards are a very very good way to increase your damage, a good way to makes yourself better in the game basically without having to actually have to spend NX on cubes or spend measles on scrolls and stuff like that. You know, you can just spend a little bit of your time grinding each character over time and then just transferring the link skills over to your the character you decide to play the most. And you know, 
he may not see much, but as you can see, when you have 12 link skills, when you have 9 character cards, it adds up a lot, and it does give you a very significant boost. So if you haven't done it, or you're, you've seemed to have no motivation to do it, then this should, hopefully, will give you the motivation to do so, because people don't realise how much uh, damage and increase you can get from these link skills and character cards, so I would highly recommend doing so. I mean, if you haven't done it, I would go do it now. I mean, they'll also give you something to do, I guess, so that's a bonus. But that will, I think this will be the end of the video, guys, so... I think I've... I, don't, I think I've... This might have been a bit too long, and if it is, I apologise. I'll try and cut it short for the next one. Unless you like me talking this long, then I'll happily keep doing it the way I am. But I think this is it, guys. I'll hopefully be able to load another video eventually later on with some ideas I have in my head in future. So stay tuned for that. But this is it, guys. So that's Valiant Star setting out. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, if you have any more questions, uh, please let me know. In, through messaging me in game, on comments, or private message, whatever you feel like it. So um, that's it. See you around, guys. Thanks.